Hi everyone, today we're going to be threading the DR2 into the frame, so let's go. Okay, so I'm going to be using this to thread the rear derailleur. Um, I've poked around his side and uh, that is it, see? There it is. So what I'll do is I'll just attach my DO2 onto there. So I've just taped it onto the end and we're just going to pull it one-handed through the bike. Okay, so it's out. Um, had a little bit of problem. It's not thick enough to take my damper um, right up here. So I've had to take some off and that will hopefully be enough to attach the rear derailleur, which we'll do now. Okay, we're going to torque that to 7 newton meters. Okay, that's now in. Frame grommet and it's attached onto there. We've still got a bit of slack if we need to pull any more out. The next thing we'll do is we'll do the top tube and we'll have the wireless unit just hanging out at the end ready for the handlebars. Okay, here's the wireless unit. It's at the wrong end because what I did is I basically just put it in and use the weight of the wireless unit to just wiggle it down just by hand like that. So I'm going to take the wireless unit off this end and put it on this end. Okay, here's the wireless unit on the end. I'm just going to attach something to it so we don't lose it back inside. Because at the moment I've got the junction box hanging out. When I push it in, that will give it more length here so I can hang it down. But for now, I'm just going to attach a wire onto there so I don't lose it. Problem solved with a short length 200mm of DI2 wire. Just so I know where it is. So we're just going to uh, do the battery and the front derailleur. Battery is going to be really easy. I'm just going to drop this down from the top and see if I can let gravity take it into the bottom bracket and then I'll pull it out and attach it to the junction box. Okay, the answer was no, I couldn't. I don't know, it probably got jammed around here because um, the threads of the bolts protrude through into the frame. So I've just fed a standard brake cable down. I'm going to attach the wire to this end and then pull it up. It's now attached and it's now through. There's the top of it. Obviously when I shove that in it's going to sit around here so we're going to put in the front derailleur next it's going to come in there out of this hole and connect into the front derailleur okay front derailleur is on i've put it at its highest point the cable comes out of here whoops out of here round behind there it is i split the grommet because i couldn't get the cable or the end of the DI2 through the grommet, so I had to cut it. So now I'll just put some dampener on this, thread it in, connect it in to the spare hole, and then shove the control box inside. I've attached it to the unit, and now we're just gonna put it inside. And it's gonna sit up there, which will leave us a hole to put the bottom bracket. We've got a little bit of extra play now. There we go, that one hangs there. That one hangs out. There's a bit of play, which is cool. And they shouldn't rattle around because they got the Jaguar internal housing damper on them. It comes in this big roll. I just cut bits off as I need it. So I'm just gonna fit the DO2 battery in the seat post. I'm gonna wrap this dampener, which I've cut down the middle um, it sticks right over the edge, so the top of the battery won't rattle. I've got the skirt on. Okay, battery is inside the seat post. Doesn't rattle at all. So we'll just put some fibre grip on the seat post itself. And then we can stick it in the frame after we attach the wire. That is cool. That's the episode of threading the bike. Um, we haven't got much to go now. It's really simple. 
really easy if you want to do it yourself just take your time it's not a problem check out my r9 or my r6 build series i actually show you how i'm doing it how i'm threading it but thanks for watching if you like the channel give me a thumbs up otherwise we'll see you on the next chorus house take care bye